Y'all caught me again. I mean, squid, it's water. Got no water, man. That's a water bag in the door call. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Nah, what's up? This is water, super sun, the super matter, 13 love, 13 wisdom, 13 knowledge, and 13 respect. I can't dig so deep because I'm chilling. I'm cooling cool with my uh, woman with my son and stuff. You know what I mean? But um, I'm going to help you out on these dreams, deliver dreams real quick. Because a lot of people are always talking about astral traveling, going here and going to this planet and going out there and saying this and doing that. You ain't nothing but a demon in the world. You know, it's demonology 101. Check this. When I talk about going into quickening state, quickening is when you get that energy back up. You know, your body is just like the planet, like the universe or whatever, right? To a certain extent, that's it. You know what I mean? But when you leave down your body, you have a connection, an like ether, or uh, this, this you can't see it. It's connected. Like when you when you get this like actual travel, learn how to come out your body. You know your soul comes out this body. You can look at yourself in the bed or whatever stuff. But most people think they can travel around and do all different kind of stuff. But like you're going to bed with food in your stomach and stuff like that, your brain can't deal with ancestors or celestial beings and watch out for demon 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 activity and stuff if it's using all the brain power to get the rest of the body or the rest of the ship to fix it on what you got inside your body to digest it so that's why moors never used to eat food in that late night stuff like that you know a certain time we stop eating because we know we got to go back into darkness and the body has to digest properly so when the mind laid down the mind has a direct connection with the with with family you feel what i'm saying but if your brain your mind not working right you don't have no connection you're gonna get caught in them demons and stuff and we all got down some call it a prayer or whatever they want to call it nowadays you know but you know praying is begging really but you know whatever you you islamic people want to say or whatever your religion you want to call it you know but before you laid down you said some kind of prayer of protection. Some call it the Lord's prayer, our Father. You know, I, I, I was never in our Father thing, our Father and Mother. I might say something like that as a child, but I just um give you a heads up. You should always come up with your own little whatever you want to to ask for protection, going into the astral world or dream world. People don't do this no more. TV don't got you messed up. You just quit. <laughs> and go to sleep and go to bed and you, then you, you go into dream world and that's when the demons get your monkey out because you have no kind of protection and you weak you don't left your sexual energy power you don't have no kind of power you go right to bed ta-da and you wonder why your life is as it is and why you're getting attacked on every different level because you got nothing but demons the only thing you brought was demons into your life because once you leave your body your body is open you are open vessel with the, with the cargo ship open that your soul left out of to go traveling around your cargo ship is open so anything and anybody can come inside your vessel when you're out there so the people be out here trying to tell people about the astral traveling and all this kind of stuff they don't tell you that because they demons trying to set you up to leave your body without no protection so go read your laws of my yacht and you put that you put that mantra out I did not commit sins I did not rape nobody I did not steal from nobody I did not do whatever whatever it tells you to say go look it up 42 laws, 42 confessions of my eye. It tells you the one laying down to go to bed and the one when you get up in the a.m. So you get a protection to have you all day. When you get a protection, when you get up in the a.m. and you like get up and you saying what you're not going to do that day. No, thank you, Lord. I got up with da, da, da. I will not create crime today. I will not go astray. I will not be misled. I will not do harm to nobody. I will not steal for nobody. I will not, you know, whatever. And you repeat that. So that information goes out to the universe. So ancestors know that you're serious and they're going to send that information back to you and put that golden shield around you. So you got a protection shield around you when you walk. Then you can walk through the valley of death out here among Satan and his demon people and they can't nobody mess with you. Because now you have that Maya, that, that Lord's shield around you, that pyramid of protection around you, that golden light around you. They don't tell you that, do they? And then at night time, you did your daily going to work or job, whatever you got to do out here. Then it's everything is so easy now because you're walking on a cloud. 
you know, you walking on that cloud, cloud nine. I don't know why they call it cloud nine. Now can't nobody bother you. You feel what I'm saying? Ain't nobody gonna be coming up harming you because you got that protection around you because you already said what you're gonna, gonna do. So now there's no need for no demons to even try to come around you. Only time demons can come around people, those who said they weren't gonna do nothing because they don't have no protection. So every day you go out of the work, you just biting demons in you because you ain't got no protection. You like, I want the demons. Because you didn't say what you weren't going to do, so you can be led into temptation to do anything. You feel what I'm saying? And then at nighttime, you do it again. So now you're going to be protected in the astral world and this physical world. It works both ways, baby. But too many people out here don't tell you about this stuff here. Some might don't know. But eating food late at night is bad. Because your food is using, your mind is using all your energy to focus on that food, to digest that food through all that cooling system, the Milky Way and all this stuff. So you're being attacked on every different level. Instead of you got bad foods in your body, that's what they're going bad dreams. Because you got that bad stuff, them bad entities want to come to that inside your body. As above, so below. As within, so without. So them demons are all coming at you, attacking you. Over, oh, you have nightmares. Ah, because it's the blood food you just ate and you got the spirit of that animal inside of you. I don't know, you think it's a joke. But if you were eating healthy food and you went to bed, right? And you have beautiful sailing. Go on, you go past that fourth dimension, that dimension, that that demonic realm, into where ancestors at and stuff like that. You'll be invited there, and you're gonna have them cats guide your way too, cause the cats fuck them demons up. Came in as the cats. I bet y'all don't. You still don't hear me though. <laughs> that's why I got nine lives, nine dimensions. But hey, that's another story. When you get up in the morning, you go quick to eat some breakfast. This is something that the European Freemasonics threw on you, which is the Jews, so-called Jews. That's why I told you to let go of that race crap, trying to say, oh, so-called white men. No, 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 it's so-called Jews are the ones who put this backwards Freemasonic on you, which is the mis misled people because they work with Satan, because they are the synagogue of Satan. They want everything backwards. Albert Pike, they want everything backwards. So they got you and Rockefeller, so-called Jew, Rothschild, so-called Jew. So Rockefeller put the school curriculum where they even taught you how to eat three meals a day. Gluttony three meals a day. Who taught you that? You don't see lions going around eating three meals a day. You don't see birds eating three meals a day. You don't see dogs only supposed to eat one meal a day. Everybody supposed to eat one meal a day. But humans living way outside of themselves and that's why they're not healthy. They keep dying off. You shouldn't be getting old. You should be getting younger. Reversing this effect that they put on you. So but when you eat breakfast, because at nighttime your body was fasting. Every night your body fast. When you go back into that darkness, your body was fasting. It's cleansing itself at nighttime, getting rid of all the toxins that you, you took on the day. Everything is healing itself at nighttime. Melanin magic in the darkness. It heals itself. You're a break fasting. No, you was fasting and somebody came along and break. Turned the lights on your monkey ass and broke your fast. That's what they call it, break fast. They broke your fasting. And you still going along with breaking your fasting because your fast will be going up to about noon. When you get up at a.m., you just drink them but one lemon water. Or just water, water. That's it. Throw a little baking soda in if you got to. Alkaline. If you if you ain't got on that level yet, you still need to, you figure you still under mind control where you need to eat some food, eat you some fruits. Don't eat nothing else. I don't know who, who I don't know who taught y'all to eat some milk and cereal in the AM. Broke your fast and poisoned you with mucus. And mucus only cause disease. And disease is attracted by demons. Disease. Devil, deactivate, devolving, defense, delusional, diarrhea. <laughs> That's what you get when you eat breakfast. Should be eating before noon. No, you shouldn't be doing it. Watch the animals. You'll see the animals get up and eat before noon. Only humans talk that crap. All the ones do is some domesticated ones. Animals got them there. They, they, they throw their walk or whatever they got to do. Like the sun, they rise with the sun. Then the sun sets or whatever that in the noontime, then it's time to go get on your meal time. Or do what you gotta do. And then when the sun going down, you should be you should be eating no more either. Unless you was a night owl or something like that. You know, then you're on a different schedule, different time zone. You know, that's that's something different then. Because there's night owls here, there's day owls here too. Then there's something that can do both. They the they the day walkers, you know what I mean? Shoot. But that's what it is. So don't don't let people trick y'all over this breakfast. I always talk about breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. These demons. And too many of y'all out there 
is so healthy conscious, you forgot about the spiritual part. And I'm laughing at a lot of you because the majority of the people out here is on a healthy thing, but they believe that they're gods or they don't believe in no creator. They know I don't I don't know what they believe in. I can't deal with you, you so-called healthy people all the way too. You you your mind's gone. Healthy is only one part of that spiritual. That's it. That healthy part is supposed to be getting your mind thinking right to come back into that spiritual. Because when you get to the spiritual, you can automatically eat healthy. You get back onto the natural things of things, how things done. You connect it back into you plug it back into that spiritual. Everywhere everything spiral. I don't I don't I don't I don't get you humans out here that you learn stuff and you think you know it all. When ancient people been here way longer than your monkey ass, you don't have no history on the planet and you think you know it all. When the information that you got came from the ancients. Humans ain't created shit today. They ain't create no computers, they ain't create, create no shoes, they ain't create no time watches, they ain't create no transportation, they ain't create nothing. Everything they did was already done. Only thing they did was uncover it. Facts. There was portals all around the planet. We tore that crap up too. Cause it was doing y'all doing some fact y'all wasn't doing it, but some of the cousins was doing some foul stuff and started dealing with dealing with lower beings. You no, know, I told you about that the portals going back and forth, or there was Satan and stuff. This all this they came. This one they, they this had this realm. That's why Satan is called the Prince of Air, Prince of Air. That's just facts. I don't know why people act be acting all stupid and stuff, thinking some there's some science science fiction stuff or mysticism or spookism stuff, and all oh, man, you believe in this and that. And I'm tell you something. And I know about the word believe, believing and be lying, all that bullshit there. If you don't know the creators, you don't know nothing. If you think that you created yourself, something's wrong with you. If you think you evolved out of monkeys, something's wrong with you. I people say, well, I, I do. I mean, somebody asked me a question like, um, um, well, who created God then? Because they heard some scholars say man created God or some bullshit like that. They really think why man ain't, ain't ain't why the monkeys ain't ain't evolved into humans no more? Why man ain't just popping up on the ground no more? They ain't just being popped up no more. Why you dying off? Because you're ignorant. That's why you're fat and you're sick. You number know, slaves out here on this planet. Because somebody trick your ass and be, these scholars think they know something. They 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 gonna lead you into that hell pit because they probably got a demon on they got them back. Up there, you can't see a lot of things. They can manifest in this thing and in and out. But this, you got a lot of demons up there. But you got to still got the, the galactical angels, them travelers that's around this planet too. They don't really want to come down and bother you, ass, because they, they don't want to come, come into this realm. But they to keep a track on the demon stuff, the demon activity, because the demon's supposed to do so much. It has to be balanced still. But right now, we're in the last days where the demons is getting, getting, getting powerful because Earth is rising up. We get up to going through toward that Milky Way. So that Milky Way, you're gonna be dealing with that fourth dimension. And you can't go on the other side, which is the fifth dimension, which I told you, you gotta go through that Milky Way. So you gotta go through that demon realm. And then the other ones get popped back into the demon realm and stay back like a rubber band. Rubber band, man. And the others continue going. Leave the old, the snake leaves the old shell behind and the new shell forms a new snake. And we going on to the other side. And little earth, that little dust ball of earth. Now earth still gone, but the other earth going back. All y'all, all the corruption, all the destruction, all the hell, all the the, the atheists, all the the homosexual, hey, I sorry to say it, the homosexuals, all the um the haters, all the all the evil people, all the killers, the murderers, all the people who didn't come back into that family stays on that old earth and eternal eternal hell. Some people say, well, how long? Who gives a fuck how long? <laughs> Y'all don't get it, is you? That's just me on point. <laughs> you, um, I, I don't worry about how long someone, how long they gonna suffer. Who, you you want to suffer with them? Why you worry about how long some people gonna suffer? I don't give a damn how long they suffer. They can suffer for eternity. All I give a damn, all I, all I care is about getting 15% that's supposed to come to that royal family and get come onto this new earth and create stuff right. Because we went through all this stuff here for a reason. We put all this stuff here for a reason because we had to get everything right. And while 
look at the emerald tablet and why everything is being built on the outside of this just using a protection shield around earth that's what's an ozone layer around using a protection shield away from the beasts and the demons and thing and they they over this this their world this their world but above them that's when you got all them heavens up there and it goes a long way keep on going but anybody think that they go straight to the both sides and stuff like that that's a goddamn lie you got a lot of levels to go to everybody got a rank it's like a rank and file and the ranking files you got a leader a, a new in each one it is a, a new in each one just because it's like the captain that runs that area you got a different one over each planet different ranks over each planet but all this bullshit going out here nothing the 3d crap all that satan saturn crap all that bull crap remember they was all gods too you got you got you got to keep balance they had to put balance on the planet when we destroyed this thing you know, it was wobbling off. We had to try to try to fix it off. We had to try to try to balance it off. We put it inside a pyramid, and while it's still spinning and stuff like that, still wobbling. But we had to get control of it. Put big ships around it to keep it in control. And we had to like, say, should we got to put some good there? We got to put some bad there. We got to put up. We got to put down. Down. We got to put left. We got to put right. We got to put. You no, know, that's why your body is like that. Two eyes, two nostrils, your mouth, lips, two lips, upper teeth, lower teeth, one arm, arm over here, leg over here, leg over here, ball over here, ball over here, breast over here, breast over there. Everything is in duality. And not people that way, we gotta leave this duality. Yes, you do gotta do that and, and, and become a one whole being. But you ain't gonna get there. 85% ain't gonna get there. Because too many of you know it all. Too many of you have hate and worry about who that man is on the screen. How he knows shit. How you know this. I that. Y'all gotta be the ignorant people in the freaking world. That's why some people be saying namaste, namaste. But when you talk about namaste, that's a soul within you. Reach the soul within the other person. So my soul is talking to your soul. What you see here is an illusion. But the soul, you feel it. You feel the vibration. You feel the harm. Talking to a queen the other night out in Cali. Talking about how they got the bees around their house. And they didn't notice the bees and stuff. But when they got the winners chain, the, the winner people knew the bees. And them bees, I said, oh, don't give it the bees. So the mom, I'm gonna get rid of the bees and stuff. But the bees shows that they on, even though she's the, like the boy, the one, the vegan one to get the mom and them stuff right. But it's the vibration that show that they're traveling now. Cause them bees are the travelers. They're the fructifiers. They the ones to create new life on new places. So when we travel around, we always gave somebody some a, a, a thing of honey and bees and um bees. Cause bees to create. There's no bees. There's no more life. You can't eat no more food. So them bees is showing you you already on that bridge going across to that next that next earth so when you got them bees coming around you you know that you're gonna be eating on the next earth the new earth that's showing that you're a traveler that's showing that you're part of that 15 percent when them bees come around your ass because you buzzing cousin and when i came home seven years ago I, bees was all around the house i ain't i didn't know all this stuff i didn't know what was going on i know i just got my body cleansed went back inside you know do my thing and I started changing when I came home. And that's been the backyard. That's when all the different animals came. Raccoons, hawks, owls, uh, cats be all around. Some cats, some cats like looking at me, looking at the thing like he ain't ready yet. He ain't, I see all these different voices like, oh my motherfucker said I ain't ready. And I like, I know that cat ain't talking to me like I'm going crazy or something. And then I'm like, I hear these motherfuckers. They ain't talking about me. So I said, yeah, look at it. He, 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 don't, he don't forgot who he is. We should go slap and scratch it and stuff like that. I was like, scratch me if you want to. So I started talking back to him. I know it sounds crazy, but then when one little other cat tried to come and say, no, he he he, he didn't have to. So, um, Y'all always being mean to him and stuff. And the little cat like came to me and they like want to beat him up. And the cat started talking to him. I like, I know these motherfuckers talk. I said, yeah, you, you the leader of the world. You get away. I started talking back to the cats. And they're like, oh, oh he understands. I mean, he is getting his power back. <laughs> and I said, yeah, I got some of you. Y'all can cut y'all. Y'all want some? Y'all come on in. They started coming all to me. Because I, I was standing through my mouth. I was doing it through mine. Then it, the cat started coming in the yard. I used to be in the backyard. People look at it. Damn, he got all them animals around here like he Farmer John. And I'm in the city. <laughs> people had, like, say people had a pit bull dog. The dog had puppies and the dog run away down the street. Come on, the animals and the cats. They're like, why wow, would the animals just kept coming to the port? It was kind of scary at first. Oh, every single animal came to my house. And then, but the bees was around the house and stuff. And then the bees started to disappear. After my vibration get up, the bees started to real because they come inside of me. That's why the penile gland is just buzzing. <laughs> That's that penile gland buzzing, cousin. Because the bees came inside of me because I'm going to that new earth. The 
brain is just like the bee. That's why you're the human being. But y'all ain't buzzing right. Y'all ain't being fruit to flowers. Y'all ain't y'all ain't pollinating nothing. Y'all ain't y'all ain't touching the flowers. Y'all ain't breathing in the prana. Y'all ain't behaving right. Y'all outside the hive going wrong. And you thought you was right. So you turn to it from a bee, you're just a little nasty ass wasp going to die. The dirt dugger or whatever, digging up things and stuff. But a bee, the bee, when the bee come around you, and sometimes a bee just come lay on your shoulder, showing that your vibration, they're attracted to your vibration, that buzz. That's what the bubble bee does. It's real talk here, baby. <laughs> So you better be getting right, baby. Getting right. We got some of the scholars talking about, oh, you go honey, oh, don't eat honey and all this kind of stuff. You got life. Honey's the only thing on the planet don't spoil. They can dig up a 3,000 year old jar of honey and it's still some good. Don't listen to any people out here. Too many people you help conscious that you're going too far. You know, say if you're eating some, um, something, um, they might still got a little corn syrup. They're not the corn syrup, no good. It's accumulating a bunch of the stuff over a while is going to get you sick. But you don't want to be eating a lot of the stuff. But don't get so health conscious that you think something got a little something in it. You go, oh, man, man, man. Your mind think like that, then it's going to have to affect you. Come on. Y'all got to stop being so scary. You know, everything's a transition. Stop being so scary. You know, transition. You take steps by steps by steps going up the ladder. Shoot. So then you got to look at the ladder, then you get onto that bridge. You gotta come with this ladder first, baby. You wanna get on that bridge. And just like um your boy in the movie Thor, you can't get on that bridge. Everybody ain't gonna get on that bridge. I don't care if someone come try to trick me or whatever. I mean come try to trick. <laughs> I know who you is. So something they can just come on down and be part of the community and stuff like that. The community starts in the this online thing right now. It's like that. And then it comes into the physical too. But trust me. You part of the TLC. You part of the TLC. That's why everything is inside the heart. Love community. TLC. But you know you got to go to the top, baby. And I'm going to get you there if you can see. Yep, yeah, but that's why um, y'all got to stop eating breakfast. Y'all got to stop that crap. And a lot of neg negativity go on. That, that's why I told you, you got to let all that stuff go. All the color and crown games. All that racial bull crap, all that different religious stuff, let it all go. No, be the right, just follow the right way. That's it. If that's what you want to claim, claim that. But all religion is in a circle. And then that circle is a square. It's like that. So you got that a quarter of different religions than that, quarter of this one, quarter in that one, quarter in that one. You still want to come back to that zero point right in the middle. Zero point. So all the religions come together too. And that zero point is right there, gives a um, the pyramids that's in the center of the earth go four different ways north east south and west so i don't care what you is you got to come back to zero point that's 13 <laughs> i don't hear nothing else so you can you can talk about all kind of stuff you want to do and this and that but you better you better come back to zero point i'm serious this is for the, this is for the moors too or something that they're gonna take back over the planet or something like that we don't walk in the same steps twice been there done that it didn't happen to come like it's supposed to happen so the righteous will be the memorials mores on that new earth but it's gonna be new earth right here oh this gonna be new earth right here that y'all think a lot of y'all a lot of y'all think this could be new earth let's talk about new that for a second isn't all your water poison yeah isn't all the food gmo or poison or something like that yeah isn't the air all messed up now he's dropping all that bull crap and stuff? yeah they are killing all the animals and even the bumblebees and stuff where's your food gonna coming from y'all don't think man y'all really don't think they knocking all the trees down it took thousands of years for some trees to grow to this size they knock them down in 30 seconds you really think this is gonna be new earth here? You really that local? That's why the monkey ass is running on the ground because they ain't gonna be able to live in this dust bowl on top. Cause they're not gonna be anarchy and chaos up here. But well, my people will be gone. I put some, <laughs> some money on that one. <laughs> but take heed. 
go check out the laws of my yacht to find out the confessions when you're waking up and laying down and stuff. Start getting your bodies right. It ain't just about no healthy conscience, people. That healthy part is just on a part of it. If you ain't got that spiritual part of the heart with the Creator, something's wrong with you. You know, a lot of stuff dealing with my ass come from the ancient town out of Lemuria. But later on, it only got into the last cycle. We have 12 seasons or 12 cycles. Each cycle is 26,000 years. Well, well, no, it's not 26,000 years, it's 13. It was 25,924. You know, some idiots will come out and say stuff like this 26,000 years, you round it off. Come to 312,000 years. Science say the DNA of the humans on the planet is the same thing. Each cycle, 26,000 years. But 26,000 years on the 26 days on this earth. I mean, it's 26 days in space. So 312,000 years on the 312 days in space. This is where the idiots don't get. It ain't been that long. We just evolving and devolving so fast because we spinning so fast because the rotation was messed up when we crashed into earth. Out there, there ain't been no goddamn time. The same ones who did stuff is still out there right now. Ain't nothing changed. It only changed in here because we spinning out of control. Come on, man. It's common sense. So stop being so scared about everything and all this kind of stuff like that. Live life but start doing the right way, coming home, coming back into nature, doing the right way. Stop having hate for people you don't know. Stop being sucked into this game that they plan because that's what you're going to get trapped at. Because you get killed or something happens, you get locked in a prison like that. You ain't get your soul right. It's going to be too late. So you better be getting your soul right now. It's all about that soul right now. You got to feel it. Don't pay no attention with all these demons on the thing. That's what we told you on the last day. Demons gonna be right here crazy. You're gonna have all and last day you're gonna have all these these fake prophets, these um, these fake gurus, these fake teachers. Everybody gonna be leading you some kind of way, and that's exactly what they're doing. Everybody talk about they gods. That's the one thing that I still I, I, I gotta keep emphasizing. These these people have think they gods, showing that they under the new age spell that ever packs that he gonna everybody gonna be gods. Ask the crowd, then you do what you do what you want to do. Do that will. You ain't gotta worry about no repercussions. That's Satan, man. Oh, read this Revelation 2 8, 2 8. Those calling themselves Jews or not, they're sending out of Satan. Then let's see who started the Federal Reserve, who started the NAACP, who, who took the consular course away, who started the Social Security thing. Who, who started all the wars, who started Tuskegee experiment, who started Planned Parenthood, who who um, who um started prison system, who started every every evil thing on the planet has been done by the same group of people. Police department runs by them because it's a private organization run by the Vatican. The Vatican is so-called Jews. The Queen of England is so-called Jew. Windsor Castle, Jew. German. Germanic. Racism then started in 1936, and the, the term racism then started in 1936. By so-called Jews, the ones that left out of Russia got fucked up Russia. That's why when you talk about colors and all this kind of stuff, ain't no colors. You better watch. Stop the, 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 the different nations and that so-called Jew got you talking about some black and white. But you ain't heard nothing I said because you can't get past it. We was all brothers and sisters, but the so-called Jew don't like that because he works with the synagogue of Satan. He don't. He wants blood. He wants fear. Cause that's how they live. That's how they feed off us. But you don't hear nothing I said. Cause you're gonna do you. Not all the so-called Jews bad though. Not all are bad. But when I say that, I'm talking. You know who I'm talking about? The ones who run everything. All that Rothschild and all that Rockefeller and them, all them Morgan and Chase and all them other bastards. All that Hollywood, music industry, entertainment, sports industry, all that stuff, so-called Jews. And they hate the Moors, because the Moors are the immortals, and the Moors are the ones that got the souls, and the so-called Jews do not. They do not. Because they sold their souls to the synagogue of Satan. For riches here in Satan's kingdom. Makes sense? Think about it. And they want you to chase all the riches too. Sad, it's a sad situation, people. It's time to wake up and stop this nonsense. All right, I'm um, I got some things to do.
to go out and take some, take, take um, so I walk out that blunt something. Um, I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> he, he, he's boss bad. He knows he's boss bad because he know he was watching over me. And I used to always call people like, man, who watch over you? I'm like, Jeremiah. And then when I able to came into myself, he was just one of my watches. And then he come into the physical form now. So I brought him out the spiritual realm to the physical form too. And I came out of prison. Yep. And then I, um, I, I, I accepted who I am. Because I didn't want to be who I was. But now I accept who I am. Yep. Take heed, peeps. It's a boy, all right? 13 love, 13 wisdom, 13 knowledge, and 13 respect. I can't wait to drop some information on the blood, man. <laughs>